Hello everybody and welcome. This is the first video in what will be a, a little mini series on building out my home tiki bar. I'm here with my buddy Shane, uh, who's enjoying a Sunday afternoon cocktail. Uh, we are recovering from the inaugural Inuhele uh, tiki tour here in Atlanta. It was uh, quite the afternoon full of uh, Kazutanannies and sing-alongs and uh, people were drinking a lot of cocktails at our bar and a couple others but one thing I got a lot of questions on was the sink because I rent I cannot tap into the floor so I have to use a completely closed circuit system I'm gonna show you real quick it's not a heavy flow but it's perfect for rinsing utensils or diluting cocktails it's all filtered water so it's good for drinking but it runs off of a five gallon jug and a five gallon waste bucket. So if you take a look underneath, um, there's the bucket and the jug, and it runs to this pump over here. It's a Bottled Water Systems 5000 is the name of the pump I'm using. It got really great reviews. It has a heavier flow than some, and some don't quite put out as much as fast and aren't good for this kind of use. They're better for like refrigerator lines. Um, I can show you really quickly up there is the type of connector that we ended up using. It's a special two-part connector. There's a, a line with a compression fitting and then there's that, uh, that compression um, nozzle. I don't know if I'm using the right words to be honest, but that's it. It took some finagling to figure out that that's what we needed and everything runs um, on this flexible hose down into the waste bucket. But that's it. All in all, compared to tapping into the floor, it was about $250 or less. Uh, so pretty reasonable for something that you could just pop in to your pre-existing bar on a budget. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.